When I think about my journey in justice, equity, diversity, and inclusion work, I realize what an honor and privilege that it is to be able to live out my passion and my vocation in making a difference. And I realize also that it's deeply embedded in my own story, my own DEI journey. It is a story that is based in the immigrant experience. It is a story that's based in my grandmother and my mother's history. It is intertwined with generations that came before me that worked and strived and tried to make a better life for themselves in the United States. My grandmother was one of the smartest persons I ever knew. She only had a third grade education. She had profound happiness, but also profound sadness. And it was in those times of sadness that I would sit at her knee and hear her stories, hear her migration stories of how her and my grandfather left their country at 17 and 18, Mexico during the Mexican Revolution. They came seeking a better life and they worked the migrant fields, they slept under the stars, they suffered tragedy and loss, losing children along the way, losing loved ones that they left behind in their homeland, knowing that they can never go back. I can't even imagine the sacrifices that they had to experience. My grandfather took a job in the railroad and wound up in Chicago working at the steel mills. They had to learn English, they had no community, but they made community. My grandmother opened up a restaurant and she helped other migrants as they came to Chicago. Her, her restaurant was called La Flor Mexicana, the Mexican flower. And she opened the doors for so many of her countrymen to come and to work in the city of Chicago. That was in 1910. And so my family has been in this country for a very long time. They were um, pioneers. And then my mother tells her story of how she always wanted more, of how she wanted to enlist in the military, of how she wanted to go into college, but she was denied those opportunities. And so my mother had resentment, built up resentment of years of being denied opportunity. When it was my turn to go to school, I was always told, you're just not good enough to go on to college. Colleges won't accept a girl like you. Now, was that because of my last name, the way I looked, the community I represented? I will never know, but I do know it affected me profoundly. So as my grandmother had sadness, my mother had resentment. I had a boiling sense of anger of what this country was trying to uh, place upon me, how they were trying to track me to decide my destiny. This immigrant story still affects my children and most likely will affect my children's children. Let me give you a little story. When my children were eight, nine, and 15, we visited the Statue of Liberty. We were so excited. We were singing all the way there, singing the national anthem, so proud uh, to be U.S. citizens so proud of what we thought was our history. We get to the Statue of Liberty. There is a cashier as you're, as you're ringing out because you have to, you're charged to go into the Statue of Liberty and they take a picture of your whole family. In that picture frame, they put the country that you're from. So the attendant asks us, what country are you from? And my children say, the United States. And they said, no, where are you really from? And they said, Chicago. And they said, no, 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 no. Where are you really, really from? And they look at me quizzically, not knowing what the question was. And so they say again, Chicago, Illinois. Mommy, we're not sure what he's asking us. And then I had to look at the attendant and say, they're US citizens. Where do you think we're from? And so it just brought us back in that moment of happiness that we were perpetual immigrants, perpetual outsiders in a country that we've only called as home. My family has been here over a hundred years and yet, and still, we're seen as immigrants. That is why this work is so important. It doesn't matter where you're from. We're all here in this country now. We all deserve equal opportunity. 
we all deserve to be based or judged on who we are and what we bring, our talents, our skills, our joys, our hopes, our dreams. I don't ever want someone to say, where are you from? I want this, them to say, you belong. You belong here. We're so glad you're here. <laughs>